Big things start from small experiments. If you think about the regular internet, it started out very small with just a few places getting connected together. You have to start somewhere. It's pretty clear the future of the world is going to be quantum computers and quantum networks, and somebody has to start building that. So we think we're a good place to start. So quantum entanglement is one of these bizarre, very counterintuitive properties of quantum science, where information can be placed in two or more objects and created in this special way that when you separate these objects over very large distances, they remain entangled. And looking at one piece of information or one object impacts all of the others. Normally, we say people doing experiments in different places are doing independent experiments. They have nothing to do with each other. But with quantum entanglement, we can actually make systems where everything that I'm doing is entangled, is mixed up with everything that you're doing, even though you're many miles away. So the Quantum Link is an ambitious project where we're going to try and bring this property of entanglement into the real world and entangle objects 30 miles apart between two national laboratories. About a dozen years ago, the state of Illinois built an optical fiber network to link high-speed data centers in the state. That was 12 years ago. For the last six years, portions of that internet have remained unused. So the path of the link goes between Argonne National Laboratory and Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. And it does that by largely going underneath the east-west tollway, where commuters drive every day, constituting roughly a 30-mile end-to-end channel. So we don't own this telecon fiber, but that's good. That, that makes this a real-world test of what a quantum network might be when this becomes the quantum internet that everyone will eventually use. We'll learn a lot of things. We're going to learn about what is the meaning of entanglement. Can you use entangled states separated 30 miles apart as a type of superhighway to transfer information from one point to the other by teleporting it across the network. I think lots of people besides physicists are interested in quantum because people are very interested in secure communications. Quantum communications are, is the only kind of communication where we can guarantee it's secure and that nobody can tap into your communications. So one of the counterintuitive aspects of quantum science is looking at something changes it. So while that might be a problem with today's technology, it's an asset for communications because you would like to be sure when you send me something, no one's eavesdropped. We can use this as a secure information channel, as a way to use the properties of quantum states as a way to protect your individual information. This is a very interesting time for this field because scientists around the world have become very adept at creating and controlling quantum states of matter with light, semiconductors, superconductors, and atoms. And this ability has offered a lot of new opportunities, both for science and technology. A lot of this is based on understanding the quantum properties of matter. And with this consortium of scientists, both at the University of Chicago, Argonne and Fermi Lab, we have an incredibly strong scientific network to take advantage of this backbone fiber that's been laying dormant for six years. So some of this is serendipity, some of it is the field, but it's a really ripe moment in time to bring all of this together and do this in Chicago.